Hi all, we have already discussed how to use GNMAO LMS Cloud to host Moodle site. And in the coming session, you will learn how to use the activities like attendance, big blue button, assignment, etc. Unfortunately, in the new, newly created GNMAO site, you can't find activities like attendance and big blue so attendance plugin is widely used to take students attendance and big blue button is widely used for live interactive sessions big blue button is a live interaction tool which is used in moodle in the moodle platform so as i discussed in the newly created site you can't find these two plugins however you can use another lms cloud if you want to use the same in this session so one thing is that you need not submit the attendance or big blue button activities as your assignment on today's session so no need to submit these activities as assignment here I am introducing an alternative way if you want to use these activities in a Moodle site so that one is Exited like GNMAO, Exited is also a free LMS cloud so that you can host your Moodle site at free of cost. If you think what's the difference between these two in GNMAO, the number of concurrent usages allowed are 200, but in Exited, it is limited to 100. But in GNMAO, as I told you. In the newly created GNMAO, many plugins are not allowed or not available. But in Exited, you have the option to use all the available plugins of Moodle. You can use Attendance plugin, you can use Big Blue button, etc. So here, how to use Attendance and how to use Big Blue are similar as I discussed in GNMAO session so you can use the site in the same way as you have used in GNMAO platform so go to a plugin and just install the plugin so these details are discussed in the coming sessions how to install a Moodle plugin so see those sessions and use the knowledge to install the plugins in Exited R so if you want to use that one so Exited is a free LMS cloud just like GNMAO. Here I wish to introduce this platform or this exited platform as an alternative one for GNMAO. So if you want to use these activities or if your number of concurrent uses are limited, you can use exited so that you can install all the plugins. So and if the number of concurrent uses are more than 200, just go to GNMAO. And also the server speed of GNMAO is much better than this Exited also. So these are the limitations of Exited when it is compared with GNMAO. So here I am, I will show you how to register a Moodle site in Exited. The same way as you did in GNMAO, just go to the site Exited.com. You can see Exited.com. Xeted.com. Just go to the site Xeted.com so that a web page like this will be visible. So just just fill in this field the name of your site. The same way how you did in GNOMAO. If I want to get a site Rakesh LMS, yeah, it is available. If it is not an, uh, if it is unavailable, it will be displayed there. So it is available. Targetlms.exeter.com is available. Then select choose an LMS. Just select Moodle 3.11 version, and just type your email. So I am just typing my email as gmail.com I have read and agree the terms of service and click create site. So that you will receive a notification in your registered mail. So please check your inbox to confirm your email address. So just go to your mail. 
so i received a mail from exit so the content you can see we received a request to sign in so just click this link just click the sign to exit that and you, you need to confirm your mail again so provide your details again so that you will get a second mail which contains username and password okay just wait for one minute yeah you can see a confirmation mail in your inbox so now i have received the second mail which contains the username and password so just go to that site again and then use these credentials so i'm just going to my new website mool site rakeshlms.exited.com and there you have to provide the credentials you have received in your mail so remember you will receive two mails after registration process in the second mail only you will get the username and password so this is how you can register a moodle site in exit so this is an alternative way or alternative option if you want to use the moodle site with all the available plugins so just try if you want thank you